Gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Commanding General of 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, Major General Robert Hedlin. Well, good morning. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, and I'd like to welcome distinguished visitors, Honorable Mr. Sanford and the, and the CEO of, uh, of our air station here in Beaufort, Colonel Murtha. All the distinguished visitors, uh, members of the, of the Marine Corps family, uh, thanks for being here this morning. Welcome. Uh, it is really exciting to be here today. Uh, last month, uh, the, the Deputy Commandant for Aviation, uh, Lieutenant General Schmidl was up at uh, Cherry Point and during his visit there they were in, inducting the first F-35B into FRC East up there for modification and and what he said there was that we needed to take another step in normalizing the F-35B in its relationship with the local communities with the Marine Corps etc. So that was that was his his kind of going away comment was, the more we get this aircraft out in front of people and in front of Marines, the better off we'll be. Well, today is another step toward the initial operating capability of this aircraft, and, and an awesome capability it is. The, the leap, uh, it, is a, in the, it is an astonishing leap in capability from what is available today in any aircraft worldwide. It's exponential, in fact, in its ability to find, locate, find out information about the enemy, both on the ground and in the air, and then give that information to those who need it, whether it's the individual pilot within that aircraft, the flight that he or she is within, or to the MAGTAF that's being supported by the aircraft. As you probably heard, uh, the, the current CO of 501 and certainly some other folks who are smart on this capability, it is uh, the information superiority that this aircraft gives us in addition to its weapons superiority that make it truly a stunning capability. Make no mistake, there's a lot of work to be done. And today is another step toward uh, completing some of that work. But the teamwork that is available and, and really that Beaufort, MAG-31, MCAS Beaufort, the local community, the teamwork that they are really famous for is going to, I believe, make this, this capability here at Beaufort in the Second Maw and across our Corps even more uh, formidable than it is in the manifestation of this aircraft, both of these aircraft behind me. So uh, 501, uh, but even before they move into their beautiful new hangar here at the other end of the uh, flight line, we want to ensure that Marines, the families, and the local community here in Beaufort are comfortable with what the JSF F-35B brings to the local community, brings to our warfighting capability, and brings to our core and our country. We want to, as, as best as we can, make people aware, give them the opportunity to see, watch the capabilities, be familiar with them, be comfortable with them, so that when 501 shows up next summer here to permanently base at uh, Beaufort, it's no big surprise. The transition is smooth, it's seamless, and it was like they were always here. So the exciting piece of today, of course, is that you know, brand new airplanes on the flight line, flying in a pattern. Uh, it all makes all of us aviators and those who support the aviation community excited because we have a new toy. But let's, let's remember that not just the Marines who fly and the Marines who take care of and the Marines who support those who do that work are a part of this team, but the local community, our nation, indeed our entire nation, has made a significant investment in this, in this program and in this capability and we are extremely excited to be a part of that, not just uh, up north at Cherry Point, but here in Beaufort. We're going to have the opportunity to uh, answer a few questions for you. Uh, that's really all I had the, to offer today. It is an exciting day to be here. We're really looking forward to 501 coming to uh, Beaufort 
next summer and moving on in a legacy that MAG 31, MCAS Buford, and the local community here has, uh, has shown our Marines throughout the ages. Thank you.